That's a fun one. Morning, guys. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock here in East Tennessee. We're headed to Kelowna, like we were last week, but this time we got two boats going and uh, got a tiny one and a big one. So let's get to it. Dad done honked the horn at me, so <laughs> I was over there yakking with my buddies. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed last week's video. Uh, I had a little, little fun making it, but at the same time, trying to deal with, you know, brokers and, and all the things that matter. Ooh, we got a three axle monstrosity today. Look at that. Okay. Well, let's get on the road. Oh, look at here. I got another one of our drivers here. Oh, let's see what he's up to. What are you up to? What are you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. Yeah. You guys didn't know that Soboy runs his own podcast. You guys check it out. It's a 411. Paranormal 411. Yes. Go ahead and give the spiel there, David. Give my... <laughs> <laughs> my big old long spiel. D uh, yeah, give that spiel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you catch us on Paranormal 411 on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We're also on all of your podcast favorite podcast platforms. We're on um, WDJY 99.1 FM if you're in the Metro Atlanta area. And if you're not, you can catch us every Saturday night at 10 p.m. WDJYFM.com. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot, man. That's, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a mouthful. Yeah, it was live. But this guy's headed to Salt Lake for this week. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're taking the 90. He's taking the 80. But, yeah. Uh, Jeff Pike, he's, he's going up to 90. He's, oh, he's, okay. Uh, he'll be on 90 tonight, actually, because he's on his second day of running. So. Oh, well, all right then. Yep. Okay. I just checked your other side over there. You're good. Oh, thank you. You're tight. I just got to check this side. Yep. So, the other guy that he was talking about, he's on the phone with, is uh, another one of our drivers. He's actually headed up the, uh, whatchamacallit, the 90 right now, or is on the 90, I guess, as time of this recording. <laughs> but yeah, he's, uh, he's the other driver that I used to co-drive with before me and dad got together and did a thing. So while I was waiting on dad to, uh, to start or, or quit his other job at the time, I was uh, team driving with that old boy. Good guy, he runs a podcast. Uh, and he's got a small homestead. I've been trying to get him to get on YouTube to, so him and his wife can, you know, do a chickens and all that. In fact, if you guys didn't realize, all of my uh, chickens are, are actually at his house. <laughs> That's why I don't have any in my house anymore because I do this. His wife used to drive with him, but not anymore. And so now... I uh, gave all my chickens to him because I can't be home enough in order to maintain them, to care for them, you know, and all that jazz. So, howdy guys. We uh, are over here in Missoula, Montana. Dad had to run inside to uh, go do a thing. Uh, I was getting my coffee and getting ready to go and Dad said he found a bolt sitting on top of the... Um, on top of uh, the, the deck to our trailer and sure enough not one but two bolts um, came out from the landing gear or the um, trailer prop up leg trailer leg I guess the trailer support leg it's got a wheel on it anyways it was loose he caught it he's just, just sitting there at the bottom of the trailer so we're back there for about a minute or two I was half awake bolting everything down other than that, we just keep having to move the, the back boat forward, meaning we have to, you know, take the straps loose. And yes, I got a block of cheese because, you know, I'm a savage. We, we break the straps loose. We jack up the front of the boat. 
we move the carpet forward because the carpet sliding out the front of the trailer the hitch or the bow of the trailer is resting so raise it up move the carpet back underneath drop it back down re-screw everything take off there he is appreciate what you did there dad Let's get to Missoula so we can go so we can get some diesel. Backing in, not exactly straight, but we'll figure it out. Alrighty, some pictures here. Looking like a little gantry crane. that and how's that unload a boat and the truck all righty let's get to spokane and get that f-350 another f-350 all right look at this rock slide they got excavators at the very top this road was yeah it's kind of crazy it's a pretty massive rock slide Okay, so I had to put the, the truck on backwards. That's a fun one.
Okay. Okay, I didn't get him setting it down, but you get the idea. I was able to move the ramp out of the way. It's pretty simple. I'll just, you know, knock the chain off and it just kind of fell over. It had a little bit of a play between the back of the hitch. As you saw, the forks might have punctured the gas tank. I have no idea, but this is from Copart. And, uh, yeah, every vehicle here is in perfect working order. I don't even know if this thing starts. They said it should, but they brought a fork truck out here, so I have a very, very strong doubts that it does. Anyways, we're gonna put the ties on, load this thing up, and then get out of here. Yeah, we're over here in Missoula. It's just a little bit of snow on the ground. That ain't too bad, running about 60. Cut the truck out of the shop because the lights were all jacked up. Yeah. So we got the truck, loaded it up. Um, supposedly, we're supposed to meet the guy over there at a uh, Walmart parking lot over there in Murfreesboro. But uh, the truck don't want to crank over, so <laughs> he might have an issue tearing off with it. Well, we'll get there and we'll offload it. But uh, gotta go. See ya. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got no jump box for you, Bear Bud. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works. Uh, we'll probably get out of this in the next 20 or 30 miles, but. Uh, I think uh, Tony the Tiger would not say this is great. Montana Road update. Oh boy. It is what it is. We figured out the reason why the truck won't start. It's mainly because, well, there wasn't a battery in it to speak of. So I couldn't get the hood open. So the old boy that uh, we're delivering this thing to, we've already received payment, so we're good with that. This truck didn't have a battery to speak of. So made our job a little bit more difficult, but it's gonna make his a little bit more fun. Now we're gonna have to probably push this thing off for sure. But yeah, he just yeah. popped a latch. Now we get busy, get unloaded. He got that 7.3 started. And uh, it's a 7.3, not the diesel. Oh, and it's raining. Of course it's raining. That poor boy, he's got a couple of miles to go, but it's on the backwoods, so it won't be too bad. Hey. Very good, very good. Well, boys, it just hit me. I'm ready to go home. I know Dad's ready, but uh, he's got to fight all this traffic over here in, in the middle of the rain. And, and it just started as soon as we got unloaded. Literally, it started sprinkling as we got off the exit. So it wasn't too bad, but it's going to be a wet and wild going home. It's going to be fun. But I'm going to end the video here. And uh, you guys have a good day and a good week. And we'll catch you on the next video. See y'all later.